Idukki, a land covered in lush green blankets. The wind that spreads the fragrance of spices. The fog that cools both the mind and body. People who have hearts as pure as the morning dewdrops. Attributes are endless. The most dynamic city of Idukki, Thodupura, is surging ahead in all spheres of development. This city is blessed with the presence of the prestigious center of knowledge, the Newman College. The college, which opened the windows of higher education to thousands of young minds as early as 1967, is now more proud and delighted. Cardinal Newman, after whom the college is named, was canonized on October 13, 2019 by Pope Francis. Cardinal Newman, Ere Masasthanaya Vikhtiyayana, Vidyabhyasa Rengatthu, Nudarengalaya Chindagilu, Vajitharigilu, Vettu Thurukkuvaan Adayatana Sahichu. E Khairi Munil Kandruundu Niyana, Anna, Amadu Irvada Nedutthu, Reverend Dr. John Vallamattam, who was the Education Secretary of Kodumangalam Diocese, realized that an educational institution was the dire need of Thodupura to impart the light of knowledge to the people of Thodupura and its outskirts like Nirmala College in Muatupura. <laughs> The college was inaugurated on July 10, 1964 by His Excellency Right Reverend Dr. Matthew Potanamuri, the then patron and proprietor. Around 400 students were admitted to the first year pre-degree course that year. With the support of Bishop Mar Matthew Potanamuri, Reverend Dr. John Vallamattam approached the government requesting the permission to start a college in Thudubuda. Application for the institution was submitted to the government on 21st October 1963. Newman College is located at the doorstep of Idiki district, a part of the Western Guts. The total land area possessed by the college comes to around 26 acres. It is an aided institution which also runs a few courses of the Indira Gandhi National Open University through distance education mode. The college was re-accredited by NAC with A grade twice in 2007 and 2016 with a CGPA of 3.32. The college now offers 14 undergraduate programs, 8 postgraduate programs and 2 research programs. The college has qualified 56 teaching faculty members, among 30 of them are PhD scholars and 15 of them are MPhil scholars. The college has 8 PG courses and 14 UG courses. The college offers 5 self-financing courses with a faculty strength of 28 members. There are also 19 non-teaching staff members. The college publishes 3 academic journals, 2 of them being biannual. The initiatives of the Kerala government in higher education like additional skill acquisition program, work with the scholar and the scholar support program are of great help to the students in strengthening their capabilities. Co-curricular and extracurricular activities are also given adequate importance along with curricular aspects. The college has a web-enabled central library with over 59,000 titles in various disciplines. A reading hall and computer lab are arranged in the library. The English language laboratory named Monsignor Palamatum Centre for English Communication 
with 30 web enabled computers is a center for training students in the correct usage of English. Newman gives prime importance to science and technology. Various labs belonging to the departments of chemistry, physics, botany, zoology and computer are arranged along with a heritage museum, an astronomical observatory, botanical garden and various smart classrooms for the students to get a first-hand experience in the burgeoning realms of learning. Anticipating the bright future of the students, the college organizes civil service, PSC, bank and net coaching classes. The college regularly conducts 10 memorial and endowment lectures, 8 interdisciplinary seminars and over 20 invited talks by experts on an average every year. Aiming at the personality and spiritual development of the students, value education classes are arranged weekly. To take the learning experience beyond the text, there are more than 15 clubs functioning under various departments. Music, debate, quiz, nature and drama are some of them. Besides sensitizing and addressing the issues of women, the Women Empowerment Cell contacts a food festival every year which is a grand celebration for the students. Newman is a step ahead in sports too. The college cricket, football, basketball and badminton teams have won laurels in both the state and national levels. The college is facilitated with a sports ground, a UGC-sponsored indoor stadium of international standard, a multi-purpose gym, a volleyball court, a basketball court and a yoga center. The Newman Blood Donation Forum has won the award for the best blood donation forum of Idiki district. The placement cell has secured jobs for several students of the college. The NCC unit of the college won the best NCC unit award of the Kerala Lakshadweep Directorate. The Share a Meal program conducted by the NCC unit collects stiffens every day from students and distributes it among the needy. The disaster relief activities by the NSS volunteers during the deluge reflects their social commitment. The college manages a recreational space for the students called Kalam Park, which is named after Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the former president of India, who visited the college on December 18, 2005. The canteen of the college is not just a fooding space, but a bonding space as well. The college has a well-functioning ladies' hostel, Amala, which can accommodate around 100 students. Many value-based activities are conducted by the CSM, which is an organization that caters to the spiritual needs of the students. Newman College is secular in its celebrations and festivities. The Onam and Christmas celebrations of the college linger in the minds of Newmanites as a never-fading memory. Newman College has been serving the society since 1964 with the vision to provide academic excellence, spiritual vitality and social concern. Since 1964, the campus is awakened by the song Lead Kindly Light which was written by our heavenly patron, St. Henry Newman. The hymn has been reverberating in the minds of Newmanites and spreads the glory of God. It is no wonder that great centers of learning spring up all over the world in his name. It is indeed apt and befitting that our college is named after him. I do not